a continuation of the legendary Hyphman Aria series that's meant to be a direct upgrade to the Aria Stealth V3. It came at an even lower price of $1300, but it's already just a little over $1100, and you don't want to miss it. Meet Aria Organic. It's the first Aria to look that different. Previous tweaks were minor, like changing the grill material from mesh to fabric. But here, the wooden veneer surrounding the ear caps makes a big statement. This looks very, very nice, much more premium, and makes it pop. After looking at multiple different pictures of this headphone, you might be wondering what the color of the wooden element really is. As on some pictures, it's orange, on some it's red, and on a few it leans slightly purple. I'm happy to announce that in regular, well-lit conditions, it looks more or less like actual wood, with just a slight warm tint. But in poor lighting conditions, with specific light temperatures, it can lean a bit red. Another subtle shift is the ear cap color itself, around the wooden wrap. Whereas previous areas had a gunmetal plastic that felt a little cheap, this version is similar in material, however different in color. This time it's actually black. This simple change, along with a smoother finish, creates a more premium feel. The last nice addition in the Aria Organic is the extended element for the 3.5mm plugs. They used to be flush with the ear caps, but they are not anymore. Regarding comfort, the pads are huge. It's an Aria after all. They probably won't be touching your ears, and it's a good thing, as the pads, while being hybrid and angled, are quite stiff. I know that it's by design, made for the tuning, but it's worth mentioning nevertheless. The headband is fantastic. The suspension strap is here and it's adjustable, padded on the bottom side and offers great contact area with the top of your head, preventing any unwanted hotspots. It offers full cap rotation for unlimited swivel and lots of tilt. The clamp force isn't as light as on some other similar Hyphen headphones, but it's not bad. I would say that it's in about the middle of the road from not clamping at all, like the Edition XS, to being way too clampy. It was a surprise to me, as we have seen lots of new headphone revisions that added more trickle-down technology to cheaper headphones. But with the Aria Organic, Nothing new was technically added, as it's already at the peak of Hyphen's features with its thinnest nanometer thickness diaphragm, which is very fast and responds quickly to any transients. Stealth magnets continue to minimize distortion and improve clarity by reducing turbulence and wave disruptions, as well as the window shade grills, made with premium alloys that prevent unwanted sound reflections. But we have already seen all that in its previous revisions. So, what has been changed, and how come it sounds that much different? Its impedance has been halved, from 32 to 16 ohms. That's quite a significant change. It not only means that it doesn't require as much power, but also the voltage swings made by the amplifier it's connected to aren't as aggressive and large. This, combined with a 94 decibel sensitivity, makes it a very efficient planar magnetic headphone. It can be driven off of a new MacBook just fine. If you're going to get some external amplification, which I believe to be a very good idea, you should get an amplifier that's not bright sounding, rather neutral, or even better, look into something that's a bit warmer. The trouble of this headphone is calling attention to itself which can be a good or a bad thing. It's very, very detailed. I would go as far as to say that it's one of the most resolving headphones you can get for this price. The micro details pop clearly, and they are in a way being force-fed to you. The top-end frequencies are very smooth. However, at the same time, this region is elevated, making it a bit bright, but not harsh or shrill. As I said, it's smooth, but there is more of it. Technically speaking, it's not a very easy thing to achieve if you want to have more treble, yet not have it overly fatiguing. But once you do it, the results speak for themselves. The room reverbs in the recordings are clearly audible, just as if you are listening to a pair of speakers, hearing the reflections off of your own walls. 
but here it's even more accurate and true to the recording. I think that in part it has to do with its great and extended decay. For example, once a string has been plucked, you can hear the sound slowly going down in the amplitude. That's very satisfying and immersive, as quite frankly, that's exactly what would happen in real life. The vocals are great, yet a bit forward. They have lots of sprinkles and intelligibility, while the background vocals seem to also pop more than usual, which can be slightly distracting from time to time. It feels like the sound is not only focused on the main element, like the main vocal or a specific instrument, but everything seems to be in focus and easily accessible to you. I'm a fan of that, as it makes hearing every part of the music much easier. The only thing you might find issues with is slightly, but not extremely, hot sibilance region, like S's and T's. The dynamic range of this headphone is quite impressive, especially since it's a planar. This could be in part because of the shallow V-shaped tuning, that brings up the bass just a little bit, but I doubt it. I'd rather say that its decent slam and punch characteristics come from the driver being very, very capable of starting and stopping in no time. One unique feature that I find exceptionally enjoyable is that the bass can be not only heard, but also felt in a way. It reminds me of good speaker bass or even subwoofers. Regardless, it's a fast, energetic sounding headphone that doesn't compromise the layering. It's fabulous. It feels like it can play sound sources almost everywhere. In front of you, to the sides, above or even behind you. The soundstage itself is finally pretty wide. It gets out of your head very easily, and then some more. I would say that despite lacking some more depth, its stage is much wider than the Ananda series headphones, the Stealth Aria, or anything lower end to be honest.